guys, welcome back to my channel and ready for part three of my like makeup declutter kind of cleaning out one. This is going to be the hardest one for me. It's my lip product. So lip gloss, chapstick, lip balm, lipstick, all of that stuff. And I have a lot. So I kind of, um, I had everything organized and I was trying it a couple different ways and I had been doing swatches and my hands all pink now. Um, so I kind of, what I ended up doing because I had like all the lipstick together, all the gloss, all like that kind of way. But I think um, I went ahead and just separated like all the reds, the nudes, the pinks, and like the purple kind of colors. And I think I'm going to go through stuff that way. Um, so I think it'll save us some time. <laughs> so uh, so there will be like different kind types of product, but kind of same color schemes, if that helps. Okay, so starting with reds, which red is one of my favorite lip colors. Um, let's see, let's just dig in. Um, this is a uh, Rimmel, the Kate Moss collection. This is in just number 10. And this is a really nice, kind of more blue toned red. And I think what I'm also going to do, I'm not going to swatch anything unless I'm contemplating getting rid of it. Or otherwise, we'll have lipstick everywhere. <laughs> um, this is, I got this at Urban, no, Anthropology, um, like in their clearance and on top of clearance or something crazy. And it's, the brand I think is called Albe, and the shade is Red Velvet, and this is a really nice, it's, it's my cat is rolling around again, um, kind of almost maroon colored. It's really, really pretty. The formula is nice. I really like it. <clears throat> this I'm going to get rid of. This is, um, I've had this just for a really long time, for like, <laughs> embarrassingly long time, but I love, this is my first red lipstick. And it is just the brand CQ. I don't even know the brand. And it's just in the shade Ruby. It is a gorgeous red. It's so creamy. It, it's ugh, it's beautiful, but it's really old. So I need to pass it on. This is an LA Colors that I got at Dollar Tree. Yeah. Um, and that is in the shade Nectarine. I think this is just too orange for me, for my fair skin. It just doesn't look very good. So I'm going to pass on that. This is really nice. This is a Wet n Wild in um, Stoplight Red. I don't know if there was like, I think it's a matte finish. I might. This is actually really nice. And for one or two dollars, yeah, it is a matte. It's thick, but it's creamy. It's not a drying matte, and it's a gorgeous red color. I recommend that for sure. Um, this is another one I know I'm going to get rid of. I don't wear gloss that much, so probably mostly I'm going to be getting rid of a lot of gloss. I just don't wear gloss very much but I got these little glossy their lip bullets um and this is just the shade red I got them at um urban outfitters like again super clearance I just got it and I thought I was going to do something with it and I didn't um this is just baby lips in cherry me one of my absolute favorites it's just a nice hit of red and these are super moisturizing I love these and I have this in a backup so I'll keep it <clears throat> this I'm wearing right now this is the Ulta it's a little lip cream in the shade Dynamite. I actually wore this on our wedding day, and um, but I've almost used it all the way up, so I think I'm gonna just keep it and finish it up because it's almost gone. And I'm like, oh, I used it on our wedding day, but I just need to get rid of it. Um, <clears throat> oh goodness. Now we're getting into the harder stuff. Let's see, this, this LA Colors lipstick, this is also, again, this is at the Dollar Tree. I don't know. Uh, it's a little more like on the brownish kind of side. So I think I'm going to get rid of that one. It was only a dollar. I'm not terribly sad. Okay. <clears throat> this I think I am going to get rid of. This is L'Oreal Color Riche 302 Sunset. It's pretty. I just, I, again, it's a little bit more like on that brown kind of. Yeah, those colors are almost identical. And these are very nice. They're, moist, oops, they're moisturizing and I, I do like them, but. I just, I think I have another one that I like better that was, the other one I have, I was a gift and I like it better. This is a, oh, it's all messy, um, a little elf lip color and it's kind of like a gloss, but it's like a, I don't know, and it's Maleficent, but this came in like one of those, um, limited edition, like Disney elf kits my sister gave me and I like this and it's a really good size for your purse. So I think I just need to put, actually put it in my purse with my other stuff. This is an LA Colors Chunky Lip Pencil in the shade Coral Fun. And again, I just think it's a little too on the orange side for me. So I think I'm going to, well, yeah, it is. 
I tried, I tried to do the smaller swatches. It's a little too orange. Okay, <clears throat> so let's see. This I know I'm going to get rid of. You're going to also see a lot of my lip monthly products because I was just so unhappy with that subscription. I only had it for about three, well, I had it for four months, but one month they never even sent me a box or like my refund or anything. So I was just really disappointed with the brands, the type, the quality, the type of stuff, and also the shades of stuff that I would get. This shade is actually gorgeous, um, and it is the brand Magnolia Makeup. I mean, this is just a paper sticker, um, and it's a matte lip color in Matador. Now, I will show you why I am not keeping this. This is like liquid. I mean, you can probably, like, if I turn it over, it drips out. I'll show you the color because oh, it's just, it's a mess. I have to get rid of it. The color is gorgeous, and I, but it's like, it's liquid. And I'm like, how is this a matte lip color? How could it possibly be one? So, yeah, I, I have to pass on it. I have to. Okay, let's see. Oh, this is kind of like, these last couple things are similar. And it's like, are they too similar? This is um, an HD Advanced Lip Color by Milani. And it's in the, sh it, in the shade Ignition. I can show you the name. And again, I just think it's just too on the orange side. And I hate how forever long it takes to wind some up. It's just too orange. Again, these are at the Dollar Tree, so I'm not too sad. Sometimes what sucks about the Dollar Tree is you can't really see the product. Like, it's all packaged up, so you can't see it to, like, kind of see the shade. And um, Okay. These are going to be the hard ones because these are all really similar. And these are lip crayons. I love lip crayons, sometimes even more than lipsticks. They're just usually just really creamy. So I have a Love and Beauty color stick in the shade Brick. And it was, like, a dollar, as you can see, so it was super cheap. This is an Ulta Lip Crayon in Glamour. And then this is a Balm Stain um, Mega Slicks from Wet n Wild, which these are these are really nice and creamy and um, smooth. So I'm going to swatch these three, and we'll see if anything is similar enough that I can get rid of them. But I think they're, I have a feeling they're all just a little bit different, which is going to make it so hard. Oh, these are just, these are really nice. Okay, so there's the three colors. And my lighting's not fantastic, so it's hard for you guys to see. So, I think I'm going to keep the Ulta Lip, the Lip Crayon and Glamour, because it's kind of more of a blue tone red. I think I'll get rid of the Love and Beauty one, because it's, I mean, I feel like I have other colors like it. And then this is more kind of, this is really nice and creamy. It's lighter coverage, which is nice. I like this on, like, certain days, like, if I don't want to have a crazy red lip, but I want some color. And the formula is really, really nice. Okay, so I'm going to clean off my hand and we'll go on to the pink. All right, now we're on to the pinks. And I have the most of those shades. So, all right, first thing I'm seeing is another one of these glossy things. I don't, I'm not going to wear it. Um, oh, this is a one of the Revlon Just Bitten Lip Stain and Balms. Um, this color is just like, it's too brown. And it's in the shade, I think I said, uh, Dawn see that so I know I'm not gonna wear that this however is another Revlon just been and it's another lip stain um in Victorian and I do like this one let's see I'm gonna take my little hair tie off um yeah it's almost more like purpley than pink oh it's showing up super red how do you contort your arm <laughs> it's showing up really red but it's it's more true to this kind of purpley color so I'm gonna keep that um, okay. Oh, man. Oh, here's another. This is a um, Pop Beauty um, lip gloss thing, Floating Rose. Um, it's kind of, It's got some glitter in it. It's another gloss. It came in a birch box. I don't wear it. I just don't wear gloss. Uh, here is another <laughs> Lip Monthly product. This is City Color Be Matte Lipstick in the shade Phoebe. It's a pretty enough color. Like, it's kind of a mauve dusty rose color. It is so drying and so thick like for a mat it's just like you're dragging it across your face um this is another lip monthly product and if you like lip monthly and you have it and you like it that's awesome i'm this this is just my personal opinion if you like it and you've gotten great products for ten dollars that's fantastic because they have sent like decent sized samples it's just none of the shades i've gotten i've really liked and 
almost everything I think I'm, I'm getting rid of. But this is LA Girl an Endless. It's a lip pencil. Lip pencils, I lip liner, I don't wear. Um, it's something I'd like to wear more of. But this is just a little patchy and kind of just too dark for any color that I have. Oops. So it's going to go. Okay. <clears throat> Man. Okay, here's another lip monthly. Now, this one I was really excited when I saw it in the package. It is called Cherry Moya. I'm not sure how you say this brand. The packaging is really cute. It says it's the shade Coral, which I was like, this is not Coral to me. That's like bubblegummy pink. And it's just a lip crayon. And I was really excited to try this, but it is such a light color on my skin tone. It just doesn't look good. I mean, it is a pale, pale pink. And... I it just doesn't look good. So, meh. Um, oh, man. Now we're getting down to, like, all the stuff I want to keep. Um, This one I think I can get rid of, though. This is another one of those Albe things in geranium. And this is kind of just too orange versus coral. So, I think I was trying to branch out, and then it didn't work out for me. <laughs> oh, man. NYX uh, Butter Gloss in... Sugar Cookie. This is a fantastic gloss. Of glosses, I would definitely wear this. These are not sticky. They're not goopy. They're really, really nice. Really nice um, pigment color. Nice coverage. I'll do a little swatch because these are really pretty. And it's kind of almost a purpley, pinky color. But these are worth the hype. And they had a bunch on clearance at Target a while back. And I think I got that for less than three bucks. I can't remember. This is another Baby Lips. This was part of their limited pink collection, and this is in the shade, oh, uh, what are you? Rose Rush. I think you can see that. I loved this collection, and I am so, it's not that orange. I'll try to swatch it. I, I'm so sad. Oh, it's so pretty. It really, it's not that orange. Ugh, I, my swatching is awful, but, um, I was just so sad that they didn't kind of keep this one around. They've kept the crystal lips around. I don't want the crystal lips with all the glitter and stuff. Bring back the pinked collection, Maybelline. It was gorgeous. I have one other um, color, and I wish I had scooped up a bunch before they just all went away. Um, I don't know where the other one is. I hope it's not in the laundry somewhere. But, yeah. Maybelline, if you're watching, bring back the pinked collection because it was gorgeous. I loved it. Um, this is Milani. One of those HD lip colors in Vivacious Fuchsia. I do like this color, but I want to swatch this next to one other and see if they're too similar. But again, these formulas are pretty nice. They're creamy. Um, so I've got that one. And then I want to swatch it next to this CoverGirl Smoothers. Um, this is at the Dollar Tree as well. And this, oh my goodness, is in the shade Berry Sorbet. It is tiny, tiny, tiny print. So let's see if these ones are similar enough. Nah. One's a little more, the the fuchsia one's, you know, more on the purpley fuchsia side. I think I'll get rid of the cover girl one though, because I think they're close enough. Okay, man, this is hard. All right, uh, another drop and stuff. What else is new? What else is new? <laughs> okay, this is another LA Colors lip chunky or chunky lip and this is pretty in pink and I think I will keep this one I'm trying to remember yeah this is I want to I want to try that one more and these are nice formulas too I like them okay now I can take all these out of this basket and then I won't drop them okay this is let's see this is a cover girl the Queen, like the Queen Latifah collection, it's a jumbo gloss balm. And I couldn't find a color, I think. Yeah, it just has a number. 2322, two, two. I don't know. I don't know the color. These are really nice. They're, I mean, I love a good, like a balm stick kind of thing. Uh, I'm trying to see what that is similar to. It's similar to this guy. But I got rid of him, so I think I'll keep him. It's kind of more like of a watermelon salmon kind of color. And then let me see if I can find anything else that's similar enough to that to swatch. Mm, maybe this. Maybe. This is Victoria's Secret called Party Ready. And these are their sheer drama hydrating lip 
sticky things. Let's see. You know what? These are pretty sheer and they feel kind of sticky. So I think I'm going to pass that on. Um, let's see. This cover girl might be similar to that balm stain. This is in the shade Temptress. Ooh, it's a pretty pink. Hmm, let's see. Uh, that other one's just a little, just, just enough different. Keep that one. Um, let's see. Oh man, oh man, this is so hard. Okay, this is a Laca and Co. Oh, I have another one down here. Okay, I had dropped the other one. Um, I love these Lac and Co. Lil Lips. These are awesome. I got one as a sample in a birch box, and then I bought like a two pack or whatever. So I don't have the names of them, but I love these. This one's kind of more fuchsia y colored. And these are a great size again for your purse. And then this one I think was called Lamb Chop, but it's a really pretty pink. I should try to see this. It's similar to. This is most similar to the LA Colors one, so I'm going to get rid of the LA Colors one. Okay, and then this is a velvet lipstick. This is um, Forever 21, their Love and Beauty stuff. It is a, it's very matte. I've had it a while. I'm trying to decide. It's such a pretty color. It's like an intense kind of fuchsia pinky color. Mm. My horrible watching. Um, <clears throat> I'll think about that one. Okay, these last three I think are the most similar, so I want to kind of try to swatch them together. But I have a Pixie Shea Butter Lip Balm. This came in a birch box um, in the shade Coral Crush. And then I have this L'Oreal Color Riche in 176 Sunset Angora, which is a really pretty pink. These are all kind of corally pinky colors. And then this is a Milani in number 12 Flamingo Rose. I'm going to swatch these next to each other and see how similar they are. <clears throat> I feel like Flamingo Rose is going to be different enough and these two might be pretty close. Mm -hmm. It's really pretty. This is kind of like almost a nude pink for me. And then this guy. Okay. So they're all just a little bit different. That's hard. Oh man. So I think this is a good nude and it, these color reaches are really nice. They're very creamy. Oh man. I think I'll get rid of the pixie because I don't ever wear it. I never grab for it. Okay. So now I'm going to clean off my hand and I'll show you guys this is, it's going to be like towards the end kind of of my lip stuff, but I picked one of these up at Dollar Tree when they had it, and then I picked up a backup, but it is Maybelline Super Away Lip Color Remover. If you try to just wipe this kind of stuff off with a makeup remover wipe, it's, you're still going to have a pink hand. This gets so much off. Um, this is really, really nice. It's got, um, vitamin E in it. So, like, you put it on your lip, after you remove your lipstick, put this on, rub it on just like a lip balm, and then you can wipe it off. But it also conditions your lip, and you don't even have to rinse it. Oh, oh gosh, I dropped it. So, it does really help get off the color. So, I'll get all this off my hand, and then I'll come back, and we'll do purple colors. Okay, I'm back. And here is my pretty clean hand. So, that stuff works really great. Obviously, it's not meant for your hand, but, I mean, it gets a lot of that, like, the lip colors. There's still some remnants on there of some of the really intense colors, but... It got most of that off and my hand feels really soft now. So on to the purpley kind of colors. Um, oh gosh. Okay. There's another lip monthly. It's called Look Divine with Benefits from Wine. This smelled really nice, but it's just super sheer and there's like glitter in it. It's just a little lip balm. I'm not gonna use it. It smells like grape. I don't know. This is oh that goes with the other colors. Let's see. I have three of these NYC. Apple, what are these called? Applicious lip balm things. These were at the Dollar Tree and I had wanted to try them. So for a dollar, I was like, yeah, I'm totally going to try them. So I've got apple blueberry pie, apple plum pie, and where are you? Garnet Gala. You guys can see those. Some of them say down. So I think of these colors. They're very, they're nice sheer. I mean, it's a lip balm. It's a little bit of color. They smell really nice. Like fruity, like apple-y smell. Um, this is the apple blueberry. I think I really liked this one. 
I guess I could swatch these because I don't remember. It's, it is a really, sh you know, that's kind of almost like too, I don't know what the word is. Monochromy, I, I, I don't know. Frosty, that's the one. I don't like frosty lips. Apple Plum Pie, I think this is one that I did really like a lot. And I've worn this a few times. Yeah, because this is not really, it looks frosty in this, but it's kind of almost like more purpley than the other one. Which these are purple colors, so that makes sense. <laughs> I think I'll keep that one. And then the Garnet Gala. That's really, really light. Uh, but it looks, it's too frosty. I'm not going to wear it. Uh, I'm definitely going to keep this. This is a Forever 21 Love and Beauty Mega Color Stick in the color Berry. This is such a pretty color, and I've used quite a bit of it, and it's kind of like a mess, but it's really creamy. It's really smooth. It's a gorgeous color. Keeping that. Here's another LA Colors Frozen Berries. I think this is too frosty and purple. I think that I got this because I was like, I'm branching out. It's a purpley, frosty. No. I'm not. No, I just don't wear it. I should try, but I'm not. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Don't keep your lipstick any mo. Don't sue me for copyright infringement. Here's another Lacka and Co. Sorry, I got sidetracked. Or yeah, Lacka Little Lip. This, I think, was the sample that I had gotten. And it's just kind of more like a burgundy kind of. I don't know what color to call it. But it's darker. It's great in the fall winter <clears throat> love it this was the um the l'oreal color Riche plum explosion this was the one i got as a gift and i do like it there's like glitter like really fine glitter in it but like it doesn't really show off like that i don't know it's a very pretty color and just different from my normal crazy red and i do really like it oh man this is the other milani i think i'm gonna keep this one too this is actually a pink i don't know this was rosa Moore, or is this the one that i already showed you guys i dropped one i don't know but i'm keeping it so many lip things okay oh man i'm not getting rid of very many of these this i just got not that long ago this is cover girl euphoria mm. oh, that's pretty too and i don't have a lot of see look at all these purples i know you can't see them as well hey eh. These are more purple than they look. I like it. I need to just keep wearing it while it's still cold and winter out. This is Maybelline and Roseberry. I don't know anything about These were at the Dollar Tree. And this is a really nice formula. It's almost more on the nude side, I would say. Like a nude pink. It's very... Oh my gosh. Well, if I just busted up by dropping it. It's a really good like nude pink kind of color. <gasps> and I busted it. Oh, I can save it. It's okay. I want to try to use that up. Okay, now on to the nudes. Sounds naughty. The nudes. Um, I'm not gonna wash my or wipe my hand off because I'm not gonna swatch a lot of these. A lot of these are glosses. This is yet again a lip monthly product NYC, which I like the brand, but it's in the shade Mocha. On my lips, are you kidding me? It's brown. It's just it's not a good look. Somebody else it would look great. Not on me. Um, <clears throat> this I'm keeping. This is a NYX lip primer. I've only used it once or twice. It's supposed to help with, like, feathering and stuff. It's just in a clear color, so I don't totally want to keep that. This is another of the Wet n Wild Mega Slicks, and this is Rico Mob. And it's a really nice, this is a nice nude color. And I just, I really love the formula of these. They're just so, they're nice. They're almost, like, on the glossier side. A glossy balm. Isn't, well, anyways. This I can get rid of. It's a mineral wear, mineral lip sheen from Physician's Formula in Moonstone. It's pretty. I just don't wear it. And I have a couple glosses the same kind of color. Um, two lip liners I'm not going to use. A Milani one in Rose and this Essence one in the Nude. And I don't have anything that would look right with it. Another one of those glosses in a nude color. Um, here's another lip monthly. <laughs> this is, oh my gosh, drop it all. Uh, J Cat's Beauty. It looked like a nicer, higher quality brand, but this is the color. Honey Crisp. I mean, really? It's like, I don't know. I would, oh, and I just broke it. Well, that confirms things, but I was like, I could wear that as a concealer, maybe. I mean, that who was wearing those colors? I don't know. 
This I'll keep. It's the uh, Co Bigelow uh, 2X Mentha. Mentha Supreme. It's a very. If I'm gonna wear a gloss, I will wear this, or sometimes even at night, just because I like the mintiness. Okay, these are like almost the same shade glosses. Um, this Bellatrix I'll get rid of. I don't wear it. It came in that kit, and I mostly just wanted the nail polish. It was on super clearance. This Milani Brilliant Shine Lip Gloss is very pretty, and this was a nice lip monthly product, full size. But again, it's just, I mean, I have, it's so nude and like almost more brown. I don't have any, that just, I don't know. I probably could try to wear this on top of some other colors. I don't even know. I could try to put it on right now on top of this red. I mean, that's not bad. It smells okay. Mm. I just don't wear gloss, so I don't, I'm not going to not going to do it. But this gloss I will keep. This is Victoria's Secret Brilliant Lip Shimmer. This is really pretty. This, oh, what color are you? <clears throat> In Diva. Um, It's kind of almost like a nude, pinkyish, shimmery color. It's very pretty. And I like it on top of a lot of stuff. It's weird you have to click it, but that's okay. Okay, and then lastly, I've got like lip balms, chapsticks, and backup stuff. <clears throat> these three little bird bees I just got for Christmas. So I'm keeping all of those. I haven't gotten to try those out yet. They're just the little lip shimmers. There's apricot. What are, what are you? Grapefruit and watermelon. So I love bird bees. They're it's a really nice product. Um, this I can get rid of. These two simply lip balms. I oh, who's the other one? Yeah, this is pomegranate and acai berry. I just think I saw them and they were super cheap and I don't know. These two I got in my Christmas stocking as a joke from my husband. This is a french fry one and a popcorn and they smell just like what they say. So I'm going to keep them because they were a gift and they're fun. Um, this is another Lit Monthly one. It's just a minty like natural chapstick but I don't wear those kinds of chapsticks. This uh, is a chapstick moisturizer, the Hydration Luck. It's 8 hours of moisture. I don't buy a lot of chapstick brand stuff. It's not my lip chap of choice. Um, but this is really great to wear, like a, almost like a lip primer. This is another baby lips. Um, I like this one. This is just the 10 peppermint. It's got a sunscreen um, SPF of 20 in it. So I like this a lot like in the summer and stuff <clears throat> for your lip protection. Okay, this is just a backup EOS in the mint. I got that in my Christmas stocking, a backup of my baby lips. Um, I've got, oh man, I've got three of these little baby Revos that they had at the Dollar Tree. Watermelon, strawberry, and cherry. I don't need all three of these. So, I think I need to get rid of at least one. Oh, watermelon smells really nice. This is so freaking hard. Cherry. Mm, I might get rid of that one. And strawberry. Okay, I'm going to get rid of the cherry one because I don't like the smell of that one the most. Or the least. I don't know. Um, Carmex, this is my absolute favorite. This is like one of the best things ever for, for me for when my lips are chapped and cracked and bad. And this I found last year. It's a Carmex Everyday Lip Conditioner. And it's nice because it doesn't smell like the normal Carmex like medicated kind of smell. It smells like oranges and this is really nice like if you do um, some kind of a lip scrub or I use my elf lip exfoliator which this is something that I love um, and then I'll do um, something like this on top or um, this is an I got this I haven't used it yet and I really need to but I got this last summer at like the semi-annual sale from Victoria's Secret the VS Pro Smooth Fix. It's a lip scrub down here and then this um, balm up at the top. So I've used the balm just a couple of times to try it out. So I'm excited for that. This tiny little Star Looks Lip Sugar. I will use it. This is a lip monthly. I will use it because it's like a one, maybe two time use thing. If it's not dried out. Is it dried out? Ooh, it's all dried out. Pass it on. Darn it. Okay. And then I showed you guys already the Maybelline Super Away. And then I have a backup of it when this one runs out. And the last two things, I have just a Smith's Strawberry Lip Balm. I don't normally like the kinds of lip balms you have to put your finger and then put it on. But this one smells so good. I got it super. I got it for a dollar on clearance at Urban Outfitters. They're normally like eight bucks. These are really nice. Um, 
I just need to get like a lip brush and just do it that way. And this, oh man, I don't even know if I know the name. I got this at like a local little boutique in um, Boston when I was visiting my sister. It's a lip balm by blytheandbonnie.net. It smells amazing. I will try to show you that and I'll try to put the link for the site below. I don't know if you can order stuff. I think you can only, they might do that because this was like two years ago. They might actually have stuff you can purchase online because back then they just had on their site places that you can purchase their products like other little local boutiques, but it is the smoothest, nicest. It, I mean, it's like, be, it's a natural beeswaxy smell, but it almost smells like coconut to me. And there was like another little one that came in the little bag and it's like a little rosebud on the top. It's so adorable and it's, I love this a lot. I just haven't used it in a while. Okay, so that is everything. Oh man, I'm getting rid of a lot. I'm really happy. I'll try to show you guys again without blinding you or something. Ooh. So that's a lot for me. Like, this was a really hard one to just purge and get rid of stuff, but I'm really excited with what I'm keeping because it means like I'm going to be able to use them and wear them and stuff. And I've only got one more of these videos to go. My face product kind of stuff. I don't have a ton of that stuff. Um, yeah. Also, I kind of wanted, I know this is a long video and I appreciate you if you suck it through and watch this. Um, but I wanted to kind of give a shout out to um, one of my favorite YouTubers um, who kind of was like the inspiration for this because she's awesome about using up her makeup and um, getting rid of, you know, decluttering and that kind of stuff. And it is Pretty Pistol 86. I hope I'm saying that right. I will put the link for her channel below. Um, it might take me an extra day because I have to do everything on my phone and it's just, it might take me a day. But I will put a link for her below. Totally go check her out. She has gorgeous makeup. Um, she mostly does like beauty stuff. But yeah, she does like almost all the time she's doing some different kind of like challenge of using her products up and stuff. And it's been a big inspiration to me to like, I have a ton of stuff and I'm wasting it. I need to use it up, that kind of thing. And just enjoy the products that I have. So definitely check her out. Um, go watch her, some of her videos, like her thumbs up, all that kind of stuff. So yeah. So anyways, I want to shout out to her and say thank you and thanks for watching and stuff. And thank you guys for watching. And if you stuck it through this long, I super appreciate it. Um, so yeah, thanks. Bye.